Hello everybody, Shelly and I'm back and I have my FabFitFun box and this is probably going to go up way later but the whole purpose of these FabFitFun unboxings is for those people that are interested in the, the subscription service and it comes out four times a year, like four seasons and if it's something that interests you, are they lifestyle, fitness, fashion, beauty, items that you would find value in. So I like to do these unboxings just because not only do I like to share, you know, the stuff that's in the box, but also the add-ons. And I have a horrible problem with the whole add to cart when they do the add-ons. When you go to ch make your selections of what you want, your customizations, you can actually pick the one, the main item you want. And then sometimes for five, seven, thirteen dollars more, you can grab another one. So in case there's ones that are like, oh, but I like that too, then you get them and then you get the add-ons, the shopping type stuff. So I'll show you what came this time. It actually just showed up yesterday. I don't know when I'm going to be able to edit this and post it. It'll probably be a couple weeks, but I just, I have to, I have to share. This is what the box looks like. I do pay for it for the year in advance. I think it saves you maybe 25 bucks or give or take to do maybe 20 bucks. It saves you a little bit of money to pre-purchase the whole thing. There was a time last year that I was like, I don't know that I'm enjoying this. And then it got better. So we'll see. I haven't even opened this yet, you guys. I saw my, my add-ons because they were not in the same box, but it comes very well packed. I think when you pay for the whole thing in advance, you get like early access to stuff, um, if that helps. I might have a code down below, but I'm not an affiliate or anything like that, so it might save you some money. Actually, here's, they, and they do give you coupons. Here's one, $15 off your first box. First person to leave me a comment down below saying you want the code, I'll, I'll give you the code and you can get your $15 off your first box if you're interested. Doesn't do anything for me. Just don't, don't do it because it, you like me. But do it because, you know, you want to save 15 bucks. Sheet of stickers, little FabFitFun magazine. These usually have some articles, but uh, they also kind of tell you what's in the, the seasonal boxes. Um, some other coupons. We've got a HelloFresh. We've got a Nourish Nature Made, $50 off your first um, first box of this. I don't know much about this. Personalized Nutrition Delivered Monthly. Oh, the uh, vitamins. I probably ought to keep doing these vitamins for like hair and nails and stuff because my nails are not good. If you're looking for a sign to drink wine, this is it. Oh, $45 uh, credit for Bright Sellers. Come on, amateur. We don't need an excuse to drink wine. We don't need a sign. We've got it. Okay, let's see what's in my, this will be my summer FabFitFun box. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out of here is Mented. Mented Peachy Keen. This is, I think, a black-owned brand. Mented stands for pigmented. Oh, that's beautiful. This feels very Natasha Denona to me. I think I can, yeah, I've got to clean that hand. Let's just swap swatch this. Wow. That is a beautiful, warm shade. I would absolutely wear this. I, I don't know if it's called peachy cane. I think so. So this says, uh, mented peachy cane. And maybe that's the shade. That's pretty. It seems to be drying down pretty matte too. That's, that's a score. I've been wanting to try the brand, but I haven't. Okay. The next thing on here is watermelon burst setting spray. Ciate London. We've seen a number of Ciate London things come up, whether it's BoxyCharm or FabFitFun. Um, recently I got a bronzer, I think, from BoxyCharm that was a Ciate London. I've had several other palettes. Their New England Editor's palette is, is great. This, so this is a, is it a setting spray? Yeah. So it's supposed to be a watermelon setting spray. Let's see. Okay. Mm. Maybe more watermelon essence than like saccharin sweet watermelon. This I'll use this. This that would probably be very refreshing. Doesn't bother me at all. And I'm intrigued by the Ciate London brand. Okay, the next thing on here is the oh, Butanic Beauty, Butanic Beauty, not Botanic, but Butanic Beauty Guardian Angel Revitalizing Eye Gels. I think these are eye masks. I've never heard of this brand before, have you? Do you know anything about these guys at all? I was feeling earlier today that I had a lot of crepiness and some bags and I did the whole heavy doses of vitamin C followed by some Pat McGrath concealer and Pat McGrath setting powder and I feel like they're maybe not quite as crepey as they were before. Ooh, 
Quay Scalp Massager. So Quay is uh, Jen Atkins brand, right? She's the one that did the collaboration with e.l.f. recently. Very neutral, um, full face of some lip products. Eye gel-ish. So this is a scalp massager. I, I have another one of these that I got off Amazon and that kind of broke apart, but this actually feels pretty good. So Quay is a, a hair brand that I think you can purchase it at like Ulta. No, I think you purchased it at Sephora. The scalp massagers are kind of fun. I don't always remember to use them because it's like, do you use them when you're showering and you're shampooing or do you use them? I think that's probably when because you'd want to massage your scalp and maybe exfoliate your scalp a little bit. Or, but I like to use them when, when I'm rubbing the hair mask in and it just kind of massages that hair mask in the, the hair. It's hair. Okay, perfect timing. This is the Super Group, Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I've tried Super Goop face products before, like sunscreen products before. I think one very, very similar to this. And I feel like it kind of broke me out a little bit, but I think the Unseen Sunscreen is maybe a little bit different. Sorry, my nails are junk. Apologize for that. Not a hand model. Not a model of any kind. Okay, but the this this unseen sunscreen SPF 40. I'm going on a trip pretty soon, and I'm going to use this absolutely. There isn't anything in here that I haven't don't want to use yet. Like everything is nice. Okay. Oh, Quay Detox Shampoo. I have never tried this before. At least I don't think I have. Hold on. It's protected, and I'm just getting ready to start all of the Olaplex. I'm going to start the Olaplex line here pretty soon, so I'm not going to take the protective off of this, but a detox shampoo. Do I have a conditioner too, or just the shampoo? I might just have the shampoo. Well, I'm a big conditioner fan because I have normally dry, kind of coarse, curly hair naturally. Not this. This is not natural hair. This is just me playing with hair because I'm mad that I cut my hair off. But anyway, okay, so the Quay detox shampoo and the scalp massager. I guess you use these two together. I'm okay. This might be the most exciting FabFitFun box that I've gotten yet. What is this? Virginia Wolf and Mill Brook Lane multi-wear wrap. Oh, I think this is like a sarong. The color story reminds me a little bit of one from uh, White House Black Market last year. They had like a a deal where if you spent X amount of dollars, you got a free wrap and it was one that came with it. And I've used that a number of times. It's not like my go-to one when we go to Mexico, but it's very pretty. Oh, that's actually nice. It's got a little bit of a peach in here. It feels nice. Sometimes, you know, some of the fashion-y items that I feel like I get from FabFitFun aren't the best quality, but this actually feels nice. I feel like they have an overinflated sense of self with their pricing. There's one thing that I got that was like MSRP and it was like 90 bucks and the pocket was not even stitched together. Okay, there's one more thing in this box. The rest is just packing material and just making sure I don't want to hide lose anything in here. Okay, and this is, these are socks. Oh, Kate Speed socks. I think I might have chose this. This might have been one of, I might have chosen most of these things here. Probably why I like it so much because I think I got to choose it. Okay, these are Kate Spade socks. They're like the rubberized sole. They have the little uh, icon, the Kate Spade icon on them. But these are something that I've actually never seen before in my life. I have to show this to you. I'm a little bit shocked by it. Okay, I'm going to pull one of these out. I should cut them instead of pulling them out. You guys ever do that? Okay, so... At first glance, they're just like a little black sock with no fluff on them. The little gold spade, the rubberized bottoms, but check this out. They're like a Mary Jane sock. When would you use those? They're like a Mary Jane sock. Is that a slipper? Like a slipper sock? I'm confused. I like Kate Spade stuff though. I like Kate Spade bags. A number of Kate Spade. My husband actually bought me a really cool tote bag for work. That guy's a keeper. Okay, you guys, so sarong, weird socky thingies, scalp scrubber, hair detox, sunscreen, watermelon setting spray, under eye gels, and a very, very pretty lipstick from Fermented. Fermented, it's from Mented. I'm actually very, very pleased with this. You know what, if I were to just buy it individually and it was a $50 one-time deal, especially with the $15 off, $35 for this stuff, 100% all in it. Additionally, I picked up some add-ons and this is where I always get into trouble, but I have to give this to my husband because I bought this for him. This is one of those ab rollers. He used one of these in a gym, 
might have actually been in Cabo and he used one of these in the gym and he was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of hard work. So I'm like, hey, I'll get you one. And I think it was like 20 bucks, 19.99 was the add-on price. They, they give me the packing list, but they didn't actually give me the pricing on the packing list. They're just significantly cheaper than what if you were to buy them. Okay, the next thing on here is a Sonics Bluetooth speaker. And it's got something in French. Sonics. Sonics the Hedgehog. That's Sonic. Okay, this is pink. That is that is very pink, but it is a cute little Bluetooth speaker. I'm gonna actually use this outside. We just recently got our backyard patio cleaned up a little bit, so this is going right out there so I can listen to my hot girl summer music. I'm sitting in the backyard. I decided to try, this is the uh, KVD lipstick. It's called Studded, Studded Kiss in the shade Bow and Arrow which I think is a nudie, caramely brown color, but let me see if I can get the package open here. I haven't done much of the KBD stuff. I think I've gotten, a, I think I got one thing in a boxy charm. Oh, that's a cute component. You probably can't see it. Kind of feels very Jean-Paul Gaultier or something like that. Okay, and the shade is, it is embossed with KBD on it. The shade is pretty, pretty nude. Let me, let me, let me swatch this here. I'm not going to have it all the way pushed up because I will break it. That is a cool tone nude. It looks a little bit like a uh, Tarte, no, Tarte Too Faced Cool Girl. Kind of what it's reminding me of. It seems to be like a thicker formula, so I'll be curious to see how this feels and how it wears. I'm enjoying my makeup so, right, so much right now, I don't want to even try it on. But I, I have i don't know how I feel about the whole KVD thing. I, I think I'm holding a grudge. I think I'm a Sandra Bullock fan and I'm still holding a grudge. And even though I know she's not even really associated with the product or the brand anymore. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a child. Okay. Lumify. I have another one of these and when I remember to use it, it stays on my vanity and when I remember to use it, I reach for it. I figured this would be good to, to have a backup of it because I need to get through the one that I have right now. I'm almost done. I did, for whatever reason, get two bottles of the Hum Nutrition Hair Sweet Hair Gummies with uh, gummies with benefits. It says it has biotin, biotin folic acid and something else. Okay, so it does have biotin and folic acid in it. I don't know that you need folic acid if you're not pregnant, but the biotin I think is good for hair, and I think some formulas have worked better with me. I think I did try one that had a biotin formula and it made me break out. I'm hoping it wasn't these guys, and I'm hoping this doesn't do the same thing, but I think it was like, I'm gonna guess maybe like $9 for that. And then I also got the Hum flatter me which i think is supposed to be let me get my reading glasses on let's just check this out here it says support a flatter stomach and healthy digestion i don't know about you but that speaks to me i could use a flatter stomach like nobody's business i am trying some things so i'm on this journey right now and i'm excited to share with you some of the things that i'm trying but that's for a different video so i'm gonna I might switch it up and, and try these. I don't know. Have you guys tried these? I like the Hum Nutrition brand. Like, I've tried them before. I think they're my normal regular hair vitamin stuff that I reach for. But I'll be curious to, to try these, see how they taste. I like the gummies. The gummies make it worthwhile to take your vitamins. Okay, and then I did pick up one of these tote bags. They had two of them. They had this one that was kind of like pink and red. And then they had another one that was like green and blue. And I have a different neoprene bag that I got from Barbella that I absolutely love, but I figured I didn't need two neoprene bags that are kind of the same shade. This is actually a fun, fun beach bag. I think when I set on this, I thought I would get the speaker too, but they don't really match. All right, I'm putting my spoils, my FabFitFun spoils into this bag so I can get them put away. You guys, I get nothing in PR. I'm not sponsored, affiliated, endorsed. I really wanted to go through this so I can give this to my husband because I know he'll be like, oh, you said you got me something, but then I haven't seen it. The magazine is usually pretty good. It'll tell you the MSRP on the various items. It's, you know, what's in the box tells you all kinds of stuff that you could have chose or sometimes they choose things for you. There is this business and pleasure cooler bag. I got one originally, my husband borrowed it, and I have never seen it since then. He swears he doesn't know where it went to, and when I asked him about it, hey, can I get my cooler back? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. When I went back, it was already gone. So I did pick up one on Amazon because I liked that yellow and white stripe so much, and it's such a nice, was a nice cooler size. And the one that was on Amazon is like a lunchbox size. A whole like a six pack of pop if you're drinking six packs of pop but anyway that drug drug my eye just reminded me of a funny story 
not so much. I hope you guys are doing really well. I am curious to see, do you guys subscribe to FabFitFun? Do you like it? I like getting the packages in the mail. I think for a while I was thinking, I don't know that I'm enjoying this so much. It seemed like there's a lot more stuff that was just stuff. And I think when they changed it so that you could choose more of your items, I got a lot more interested in it. So it became things that I would actually choose for myself and not things that it's like, well, I don't like this, but maybe my daughter will. I don't have to do that anymore. Now I'm like, okay, I get it. Now I'm I'm excited about it. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you're enjoying your summer. I hope that things are feeling normal and that you're feeling healthy and that you're feeling stable. And I think that we look back on this time last year and we become appreciative for how far we've come. We still have a ways to go. Like the world will never be quite the same. Just know that I'm still here for you guys. I've been here for you guys throughout all of coronavirus. I uploaded three to four times a week. Now this in 2021, I've I've changed it up a little bit and now I owe, I upload at minimum twice a week, sometimes three times a week. It's just hard with a very, very busy work schedule and in school because I went back to school this year and I'm doing okay. I haven't, it hasn't killed me yet. It's strange. I have very high expectations for myself. So self-imposed stress. Do you guys ever do that? Self-imposed stress? All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope, I hope, I hope that you are, are enjoying your day, your evening, and that just know that I appreciate you guys so much. And if you guys are interested in subscribing, follow me over on Instagram. I would love to interact with you guys. Give me a shout out. Say hello. Say hello. Hello, everybody. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.